Whatever your vision of real life is, get it out your mind right now because Miami is not the place. I really thought it was because I was lazy. Nobody cares. You gotta see that as a fact. If I'm not doing something creative, I just don't feel good in here. Before I start the video, I do wanna say this is not gonna be one of those videos where I just trash the nine to five just because it's the nine to five. No, like I have actual reasons why I don't specifically myself like the nine to five. And yo, actually comment below, like look how nice this shirt actually is. Like I got this from Zara. Let me show you guys the shirt. This literally has nothing to do with the video, but look at this, look how clean this shirt is. Like, oh my, don't wear my like Miami clothes enough. Let's talk about the nine to five and my problems and the struggles and why I just, is literally the bane of my existence. Like if I could take the nine to five and like, you know, and then just, I would totally be up for that. But you know, that's not the world we live in to pay my bills here for this fucking apartment, you know, you have to make struggles, sacrifices, and work jobs you don't like. So let's all get into it, let's go. All right, so here we are. This is gonna be our, all this set up for the rest of this video. I have my map book here, you know, don't worry about the stain, you know, we, we, we're gonna just look past that. It was office break, you know, we went on, we went on a team meal. I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time, so let's get right into it. I have been working since as long as I can remember. So I think the age, I think the age to begin working is like 16. I literally have been working since I was like 12. If you guys don't know, I come from a pretty small town. I've come from the good state of Mississippi. And you know, if you go to Mississippi, you realize there's not a lot of infrastructure. And you know, basically it's just a lot of farm town. So I was basically tilling, like you're doing a lot of hard labor. And then when I hit 16, that's when I finally got my first legal job, I guess I should say. Then I worked at this restaurant, then this other restaurant, and then this other restaurant. I had a lot of jobs. I wouldn't say I hated all the jobs I've had, because I know some people come on here and say, you know, the nine to five, no matter what, this just sucks, it can't be good. I'm not one of those people, you know? I do feel like, you know, if you find a job that is nine to five, I guess, technically, you can still enjoy it. But you know, there has been jobs where I worked with, and it was just a normal job, like at a restaurant, but, you know, the reason it made the job not as, you know, unbearable is because of the people that work there. Of course, it didn't fulfill me all the way, you know. It really never filled that creative side of me that I've always just had to fulfill. Like, if I'm not doing something creative, I just don't feel good inherently. And I don't know if that's like a problem, don't need to see therapy, I don't know. And for a long time, I really thought it was because I was lazy. I realized that that's not the case, like I'm not lazy, like, Bro, I work so hard like these days. If I had to put in like into like numbers, like how many hours I work a week, I would say I work at least 80, 90 plus hours a week. You know, full full time doing my job, 40 hours a week. And then like on like YouTube, I have to edit at least two videos, and each of those videos could take up to six hours, six to ten hours. And that's not to mention I have to record it, you know, do all of that. So that's like hours and hours of me just working nonstop. A big problem in the nine to five game, I guess we should call it, is that, you know, you aren't able to really rise and really prosper off of your accomplishments. Maybe you become a little bit higher than a manager, a regional manager or something. Beyond that, you're not really getting to like high, high level, like especially if you're coming from the bottom. If you're not really hired into like the top, you're not gonna really get to like the HR and the top people that's already up there. And this coming from me, like I've become a manager in most jobs I've had. Like every job I work, I've been one of the hardest workers. I've always gotten to management. And, you know, I was always like that leadership role because I've always did my job properly. It always comes to a point where you're not able to really go any farther. And if you do, the amount of things added to your plate that you have to fulfill for the job increases so much that you don't even think it's worth it. Like, okay, I can get a, a dollar increase, but now I have to do, I have to stay overnight, so I have to do this and that, I have to write papers, I have to, to make schedules. Like, yo, like, what the fuck? For a dollar? Like, I'm good. Like, I'd rather just stay where I'm at because it's not even worth it. Like, they tell, they say, yo, you can like rise in the ranks, but like, can I really? Like, a dollar for that? Like, I'm good. And they always say, like, it's your choice. You know, you made the choice. Like, I guess technically you're right, but like, yo, like, is it really a choice? And that's another one of the main reasons why I just don't like the nine to five. Like, I've always just felt like I want to grow as a person. Where I'm at, you know, I'm I'm happy. You know, I got to 1,700 subscribers. I don't know where I'm at now by the time this is coming out, but right now I'm at 1,700 roughly, which is amazing. Like, thank you guys for subscribing. Holy shit, like what? It's really nice. Like, I've come a long way. Like, I, I remember when I first started YouTube, I was so scared to even press the publish button because I didn't, I was scared of what people thought about me or I don't know if made my video super cringe, which it was, it was super cringe. Like, I look back, that video was awful. You know, I look at myself now and I see how far I've came. And of course I'm happy, but I've always just felt like I just need to keep growing. I've always had like a level of acceptance 
So like I'm not saying I need to grow and grow and grow and grow until I can never grow again. Like until I need to grow into the ether. Like no. Like I feel like once I get to like hundred K, I'll be satisfied. Like I did my dream, I did my goal, I got the plaque. Like I did that. Like I did my childhood dream. And I've been working at the job I work at for about two years. And I've I've grown. I've gotten to management. I do delivery report, I do logistic things, like, oh wow, you're the manager, but you know, who really cares? It's not really like changing, it's not really changing the world in any way. Me being a manager at, I'm not gonna say where I work at, I almost said it, Ooh. Me being a manager at where I work at, people was like coming to me like, oh, who's the manager? Who's the big guy around here? Like, it's me. When there's people out there changing the world and being influential, like I got my small little community. We do, we do what we do. We're happy over here. You know, I live top floor. You guys could probably see a little bit of the balcony. I, I live on the top floor of a, a pretty little good apartment. You know, it's not bad at all. So the job I work at, we open at five. So that means I have to wake up at four because we have to prep things in the morning, or whatever. So I have to wake up at four o'clock. And let me tell you one thing, yo. Waking up at four o'clock, it it really puts you on like the the teeter of life and death because mentally, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why am I waking up at four a.m.? It's still dark outside. Granted, you, it's not. There's no lights outside. It's still dark. So technically, my brain is telling me I need to be in a bad sleep right now. I should not be up in the hay hours. Like, what are we doing? Do I really want to continue this? Like, this is awful. Of course, I'm just, I'm being hyperbolic. I'm not really like I'm not really thinking about you know. Psh metaphorically like you're just sitting there thinking like is this shit really worth it like waking up at 4 a.m to get paid basically shit like i don't i mean it's good it's, it's all right for where i'm at but like man come on that's people out there living a good life and i'm sitting here doing all type of stuff waking up at four like i'm tired my feet hurt i want to go to bed i want to go to bed people out there partying what is actually going on so now i think it's time to mention the people that you have to work with i really hope nobody from where i work sees this no actually i i don't care most of the people that i work with i actually like they're cool people like honestly when you work like these normal jobs at the, the lower level you meet some really cool people some interesting people nobody's trying to compete with nobody we're all just you know what we're all here we're all going through the same struggles Fuck it, let's all just be cool. So I, that that part of it is good. But you have some people that's just, I don't know, like I don't know where they come from or they're not really social cues, but fuck bro. I'm a very, I would say business oriented person. So most of the things people around my age talk about, I just don't have any interest in. TikTok, memes, video games. I'm not really into like, I, I play video games of course, but I'm not an avid gamer. And you know, when they're talking to you, you kind of have to fake it because you don't want to be the guy that's the asshole. So I have to fake, oh wow, like yo, yeah man, like yeah, that game is so cool. When I really have no interest, and the problem is, I'm not able to surround myself with people of like-mindedness. Like, I'm so isolated. And don't get me wrong, it comes with its perks. I've accomplished a lot, you know, I've come far from where I really started. But man, is it so isolating? Because most of the people, I just, I can't, really interact with on that deeper level like I want to. Like the nine to five people, the most of the, they just want to smoke, drink, chill, relax, which is cool. Like I'm all down for that. Of course I want to chill ch sometimes too, relax, but that's not all that I want to do. I want to accomplish things in my life. Look back and be proud of who, like, who I became and who I am as a person. You know, I want to be able to look at myself and just really say, I've done everything I wanted to do. I'm fulfilled, I'm happy. I'm accomplished. You're watching this in the very beginning, bro, I'm telling you right now, everything that I said I was gonna do, let me show you, you don't believe me. Everything on this dream board here, I'm gonna accomplish, I promise you that. Write it in the books, write it down, put in your notes, I don't care because I'm saying this today. You know, most people just talk about mundane things, things that just don't matter, you know, and it's just hard for me to indulge in that when I'm just, most of the time, I'm not even at work. I'm just in my head thinking about YouTube or, this new idea or this would be cool. And I just hear like random, oh, I went to the club. Oh, I got fucked up last night. I don't even care. I'm just, I'm in my head. So no, 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 no. I do want to talk about the elephant in the room, the financial problems with the nine to five. For this one, I'm about to get into bed. I gotta, be, I gotta be relaxed because we're gonna get really, we're gonna get into this one. Let me get my camera, let me set up. All right, so I'm nice and comfy. We can get really, we can really delve into this financial talk. If you don't know, I'm only 22, so I really don't have I don't have the skills or the skill sets to make high-end paid you no know, jobs, and I didn't go to college for multiple of reasons. Being 22, dropping out of college, you don't have many skills to use to get high-paying jobs. I mean, of course, 
I mean, I can edit. I can probably get a job in editing, but I don't even know, like, where would I go? Who do I, who do I talk to? So, yo, I can edit for you. Who? I don't even know. So, jobs that you have to get hired for aren't going to be the most high paying. So, as we all know, I live in Miami, and Miami is a pretty expensive place. You know, it, it costs a lot to live here. The food is expensive. The drinks are expensive. The housing is expensive. Pretty much everything in Miami is expensive. And with that being the case, that means I have to pretty much budget everything that I do. I'm not financially destitute. I'm not, I'm not like starving anything. I can pretty much eat any every day. Honestly, it's a problem because I Uber pretty much every single day. And guys, Uber is pretty expensive. I really need to stop it. I Uber literally, I don't know if you can see it, but I Ubered a meal literally today. Miami is a pretty expensive place. And you know, I get paid okay. For, like for what I do you don't really have much more money to go out and really experience the city you know there's a lot of beautiful places to go a lot of beautiful restaurants a lot of eateries that I've never really got to experience yet just because you know it costs so much to go to these places like some places I have like valet outside and like you get in it's like a five three hundred dollar steak it's like what the f who wants to eat like who, who's getting that but people are getting that because people have the money here like miami is a completely different whatever your vision of real life is get it out your mind right now because miami is not the place miami is his own complete different location nothing really makes sense here like i literally was talking to a co-worker i think yesterday i come from a small town and he came from the here the big city and i was just telling him that, like my experience here like moving here was so drastic and so crazy because I've never really experienced this. I literally was telling him that the tallest building from where I'm from was only like three stories high. Seeing a Lambo was like, what, like crazy. But now it's just like, I acclimate it and I'm so used, like it's a Lambo. To me, like that should be like, holy crap, it's a Lambo. But I see a Lambo literally at like every corner. So it's like a regular car, which is not normal. Like I'm saying, it's not normal. You know, there's many things I've yet, yet got to experience just because of the finance. Where I work at every single day without fail, Somebody always comes in talking about how, oh, I flew from New York and I gotta go to fucking France next or wherever they're going. They're just traveling the world. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, I haven't ever traveled a day in my life. And it's not because I don't want to. Trust me, I wanna travel. I wanna go see the fucking the pyramids and, you know, the Alpha Tower or whatever, whatever people see these days. I wanna go see those things for myself in person, not on the camera, not on the screen. No, I wanna go see it with my own eyes. If I take out a week, I say I save up money. I would have to then work extra hours just to put in PTO because if I take off a week, that means I don't get paid for that week. And if I don't get paid for that week, then I can't pay my bills because bills are coming. I don't have any extra income to just say, you know what, I've been working hard. I just went on a little trip. But no, I'm not able to do that. I don't have any extra income. I have to keep working. And that's like the saddest part of the nine to five. It's built to make you, it's really built to keep you working and not really achieve anything more. Once you really, open your eyes and see it from the third perspective, you see that they're not really there to help you. Like people come to you, yo, we got your back, we're on your side. When, when you look at it, what do they say? Customer's always right. What if he comes in talking shit? I talk shit back, he got what he got. No, our policy is customer's always right, you're fired. Like, yo, what about my feelings? Like, does nobody care? Nobody cares. And you gotta really take that fact, you gotta take that as a fact. Seeing something you really wanna buy and not being able to buy it because in the back of your head you're thinking, I might not be able to eat or pay bills later some shit or some rent or I'm not better pay my credit card off. Like, random stuff like that really just doesn't feel good. Like, I get, you can be happy with where you're at in, in a place, but there's no way you're telling me that if you're living like that, you're satisfied and you're content. There's no, there's no possible way. Some people get college degrees just to still be paycheck to paycheck. Yes, they make more money, but with that comes more expenses. You know, they have more, you probably have a car payment, you have a house payment, probably got kids at that point. You got more things to pay, so you're, yes, you make more money, but you really don't. You're still paycheck to paycheck. Just like the guy making less money, he's paycheck to paycheck, just with less expenses. We're all living the same experience, the same hell on earth. And you know, for me, that's not it. I don't wanna live like that. I don't wanna live paycheck to paycheck, always worrying about the next bill, worrying about what, what's gonna happen next month or next week or stresses of life, just the regular stuff. Oh, I gotta get groceries, I hope I have enough. Hope I hope the milk didn't go up, like st it's stupid. Like, oh my God. I always heard that growing up and I just never wanted to live like that because I just see it stresses you out. It's not a good experience. I don't give a fuck what nobody tells me. Nobody's gonna convince me that I should wanna do that instead of trying to chase financial freedom. I could care less. You want me to go through all that stress, going through school, 
bullshit just to live the same experience I'm living now with just more, I guess, more stuff that's not gonna make me happy. People that are making 100K per year, you know, still complain about the same issues. Oh, you know, life this, I'm stressed out about this. Same problems as people that's not making no money. Now, don't get me wrong. I would say the nine to five is for some people. Some people aren't meant to live a life on the wild side. I haven't gotten far into my country creation journey, but you know, I can already tell that it's a very, it's a very up and down feeling. You know, you're not very certain on things. You don't know if the next videos will do good or do bad. And if it does do bad, is that it for the channel? Like you're always thinking about these things as a creator. I'm a very creative, very daring person. I literally moved to Miami at 20 years old. I didn't, I, I didn't know no people here. I didn't have a plan. Well, I had a, it was a plan, but the plan failed. But you know, I didn't really have a good plan. I just kind of moved out here and just hope for the best. And you know, we're here now. Things tended to work out pretty all right. But you know, for most people, they're not gonna do the things I did. And I do know that. So for those kind of people, nine to five, be happy. But if you're watching this, you're more than likely not that kind of person. You're probably a more different thinking, you know, creative, fulfilling, a creative, fulfilled, fulfilled, fulfilling needed, fulfilled, needed. You need to be creatively fulfilled. You know, I'm with you. I understand that the nine to five is some shit. You know, we go, we people, we go through some stuff. It's a lot of things encapsulated in the nine to five that's not really talked about. You know, most people just talk about the finances. I get it. You know, the finances and not making the money to be able to live a decent human life, of course, is a big issue. But no one talks about the mental stress and the emotional stress you go through. Just of the day-to-day -day bullshit you have to go through. Do you think I really wanna wake up at 4 a.m. in the broad fucking early days of the day? Like, I don't wanna do that. I, don't, I wanna be in my bed till at least seven o'clock, wake up around eight maybe, take a shower, and get my day started, stretch a little bit, drink some orange juice, and relax and enjoy my day. But no, I'm not able to do that because I gotta wake up at 4 a.m. and I have to rush to work because I might be late. Because if I'm late, then I can get fired. And if I'm fired, then I can't pay my bills. Just stresses on stresses on stresses. The force you to just keep going and just not get out of that. All of that stuff, the nine to five college, just that entire dr American dream life, all of that is really just set up to make you fail and just not be anything more than, you're, than a worker in the cog. The saddest part is when you see like, older people They've been working like hard labor jobs all their life and you just see how their bodies turned out. They're very broken, it looks like. They see like a human being have to be reduced down to just a worker and just an object. And it's like, why do we do that to ourselves? We do that to ourselves. But man, the nine to five, it's just, it's a lot of issues, a lot of issues. You know, like I said, for me, you know, I'm just a very creative, fulfilled person. I just, I have to be doing something creative, something that fulfills me and inspires me. I, ha I have to do that. If I don't, I literally feel worse about myself. I feel shittier. Like, I just, I feel nasty. Like, it's almost a borderline, like, depression almost. It's like, I just feel sad. Like, nothing I do really brings me joy. And, you know, just the mental and physical and just the stresses of working there. All of that is just, I don't want to have to deal with that the rest of my life. Coming home and debating, should I buy this game or should I just wait till I get paid next week? You're always waiting. You're always fucking waiting for the check. I don't want to have to keep doing that, waiting on checks to come and waiting on money to be there when I want to buy something I really want. Like right now, I want to buy a new camera. I want to buy a new MacBook because the MacBook, my MacBook is so old, bro. It's, it's struggling. I literally it crashed. It literally crashed when I was exporting a video, and I got so scared because I thought it wasn't gonna work. But it got through it. Thankfully, it, it chugged through. You know, I want to get things with the channel, and I'm not able to do that because I will literally go financially destitute, and I'll be back on the at the car wash if I do that. So I have to keep using the same stuff. God forbid the camera breaks, or my MacBook breaks, or something happens to something my, to my equipment, like my ring break. Let me show you. The ring light right behind me is literally broken. It's literally hanging just on there. It could literally fall at any point. Big purchase is like a camera. That's like a, a thousand, two thousand dollars, give or take. MacBook. Easily 2000. I'm not, I, can't, I know I can't do that. Like, it's impossible. I, I can't even imagine me buying a new MacBook right now. And I give like my entire life to the nine to five. Like, it literally has my life. I, I honestly think I spend more time at my job than I do even at home. Maybe I'm just exaggerating that. Even if it's not true, the fact that I feel that way is the, already the problem. I should not feel like I'm at work more than I'm at home. And even when you're off of work, you're never really off of work. You're always thinking about, oh fuck, I gotta work tomorrow. Man, I was enjoying this game. Any little thing that I do always gets interrupted and like dulled down because I'm thinking about the next work day. Even like even right now, like I'm, I know I'm off tomorrow, which is cool. Like I had two days off. Wednesday after work. 
fuck, Wednesday? And it kind of dozed me down. Like, right now, I'm recording a video, so, like, nothing can really dose me down. But, like, late at night, I'm just chilling, watching a movie or something. Or I'm just, you know, watching YouTube. And it just hits the back of my mind, like, yo, you don't have to, you have to work this week. Don't forget. And you're working at 4, 4 a.m. Don't forget. You're working at 4 a.m. Yeah, you're doing that. And it's just like, fuck, man. I was just enjoying my time, and now I'm thinking about this, and I'm already kind of like, ugh, I don't want to go. Even though I'm not, I'm not even there yet. It's just like, man, come on. You know, I'm just tired. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys are like, Ty, what the fuck are you talking about? If that is the case, let me know down in the comments. You know, if you're smarter than me and you have a different view on this, maybe you think the 9 to 5 is great you just want to come here and get some hate, let me know. Maybe tell me, no, Ty, you're wrong because the 9 to 5 gives you stability and you can grow to be a mega, I don't even know, mega manager. You can do that. For you, bro, I'm going to tell you this. Before you even write that, don't even write that because I'm going to tell you this. I don't don't care. You know, I don't want to be the mega manager. I don't care. To me, I want to I want to provide value to the world through my voice and through, through the things that I say. You create a culture change and just change this negative, dark energy. And if I can't do that being a mega manager, then you can keep it. Tell me you guys' experiences. Like, what are you going through? You know, I'm going through the same thing probably. I wake up at 4 a.m., like I said, and I work, you know, 40 hours a week, sometimes a little bit more just to get some extra income because, you know, Extra money doesn't hurt. But you know, a lot, I know a lot of you guys probably watching this probably still work 9 to 5s and you want to be more and you want to do more great things. So let me know you guys' experiences. What are you going through? How do you feel about it? By the time you're watching this, I don't know where I'm going to be at. But right now, I'm at 1,700. I think I said this earlier. But I'm at 1,700 subscribers, which is so fucking dope. Thank you for getting me there. You guys are literally the best. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you got to do. We have a lot of bangers coming out. Trust and believe. Like, man, I've really been in the pot. I got, this is like probably my most creative moment i've been in i don't know why i'm so like into this youtube thing right now but i got videos popping off you guys are gonna see love you guys so much see you guys in the next one i'm out peace did i just kiss the camera i did goodbye